Hello, I'm Heydarian and I'm with you by a new video about functional tumor markers in diagnosis of prostate cancer, uh, PSA and free PSA. Uh, the prostate is an elastic fibromuscular capsule and contains granular tissue as well as connective tissue in the form of an inverted pyramid and surrounds the urethra. Uh, the prostate gland contacts during ejaculation and adds an alkaline milky substance to the semen. Prostate-specific antigen or PSA is produced in uh, the prostate and secreted into the semen. And uh, small amounts of PSA usually circulate in the blood. Enlargement of prostate occurs in uh, almost all men with age, and its excessive enlargement can cause the following com complications while putting pressure on the urethra. Urinary retention or inability to completely uh, empty the bl bladder. Frequent uh, urination or urination eight or more times a day. Urine urgency uh, or inability to delay urination. Urinary, urinary incontinence uh, or loss of urinary control. Uh, Anorexis or frequent urination at night. Difficulty in initiating urine flow. Poor or interrupted urine flow. Obstruction of uh, the urinary tract. Uh, unusual color or smell in urine, uh, bellowed in the urine, and pain after uh, ejaculation or uh, urination. PSA test is used as a screening method for early detection of prostate prostatic cancer. When the PSA test is combined with a rectal examination, Nearly 90% of clinically significant cancers can be detected. This test is also used to monitor the disease after treatment. PSA is a glycoprotein found in high concentration in the prostatic lumen. A significant barrier such as prostate glandular tissue and uh, vascular structure are interposed between the prosthetic lumen and uh, the bloodstream. These protective barriers can be brushed when uh, uh, diseases such as uh, cancer infection and benign hypertrophy exist. And therefore, a high amount of PSA secretes into the bloodstream. In 1994, FDA approved the PSA test to be, to be used in conjunction with a digital rectal exam to aid in the detection of prostate cancer in men 50 years and older. In addition to prostate cancer, several benign or non not cancerous conditions can cause a person's PSA level to rise. Uh, any prostate, uh, prostate uh, manipulation, prostatitis, or inflammation of the prostate, invasive uh, prostate treatments, uh, prostate infection, benign prostatic hyperplasia, prostate uh, biopsy, urinary retention, and uh, catheterization. There are two forms of uh, PSA in blood, including the complex form of PSA or we are, which binds to various proteins and uh, the free or unbound form called free PSA. Total PSA tests which measure both forms is usually requested. In patients uh, with a prostate adenocarcinoma, more than 90% of the PSA is protein bound. Measurement of free and bound components may be useful in screening men with borderline findings. The goal of these types of screening is to reduce the number of unnecessary biopsies 
in men with total PSA concentration, especially between 4 to 10 nanogram per milliliter. Uh, this usually does not work in a case where the PSA total is less than 4 uh, because low levels of PSA may also be seen in benign conditions such as uh, prostatitis. The average percentage of PSA is lower in people with prostate uh, cancer. Typically, the ratio of PSA to total PSA is more than 25% in normal men and less than 25% in patients with prostate cancer. It is recommended that men with a mild increase in total PSA 4 to 10 uh, and less than 20 to 30% of uh, free PSA to uh, total PSA ratio should be further evaluated. Uh, with using a 25% cutoff, it uh, detects about 98% of carcinomas aged uh, 50 to 59 years, 94% of uh, carcinomas aged 60 to 69 years, and 90% of 70 to 75 years old carcinomas. Uh, if a man's PSA level benign to rise after prostate cancer treatment, it may be the first sign of recurrence. However, a single elevated PSA measurement in someone who has a history of prostate cancer does not always mean that the cancer has come back. The doctor may look for a trend of rising PSA level over time rather than a single elevated PSA level. Therefore, a rising trend in PSA level over time in combination with other findings such as an abnormal result on imag imaging test may all lead the, the doctor to recommend uh, further cancer treatment. Uh, age is an important uh, factor in increasing PSA levels. Men younger than age 50 should have a PSA level below 4 nanogram per milliliter, whereas a PSA level up to 6.5 nanogram per milliliter uh, would be considered normal for men in their 70s. Uh, the following uh, conditions can increase PSA levels. So for sampling this test, the following must be observed. Avoid sex and ejaculation 24 hours before the test. Sampling should be done before a rectal examination. In patients who have undergone catheterization due to urinary retention, it is uh, best to have a prostate test after three days and uh, preferably after a week. A prostate biopsy can increase PSA for up to uh, seven weeks. The, thank you for your watching. Please uh, subscribe me from below link for more videos and supporting me. Uh, have a good time. Bye.